Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Jason with your Hopium free crypto update. Today's update is on Bitcoin and the recent announcement of the ETF, which is going to launch in just a few hours in the US. This is the first of hopefully many Bitcoin ETFs. And the importance about this one is that it's a futures ETF. We're looking for a spot ETF. So in this video, I want to cover what the ETF is. We're going to look at what potentially will happen to Bitcoin over the coming hours and possibly days and weeks, and then see how that all lines up with the overall cycle. So before I dive in, make sure you've hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I know many of you are watching and are not subscribed. Make sure you do that. And for you guys, make sure you hit that all bell the notification and all so you can see this content pop up in your newsfeed. Today's video is going to be nice, quick, and straight to the point. All right, so let's crack straight on with it. I did a live stream earlier today, went into a little more detail on some QA, but we're just going to crack straight into it in this video. So we've got Bitcoin dominance at the moment. I'm going to look at ETFs, what's going on. Dominance, the way I'm seeing it, my opinion, of course. We have a double bottom here and it potentially looks like Bitcoin is continuing to regain dominance. My levels are around 49% dominance. So this is essentially all of the market caps in cryptocurrency. Bitcoin is potentially getting very close to being worth half of the entire market. We are still about 3.1% off that. What this means, the way I read the market, is that Money is flowing out of altcoins and into Bitcoin. We are seeing that at the moment. So their Bitcoin values are bleeding and the strength is going back into Bitcoin. What does this have to do with the ETF? Well, it looks like the market has been preempting this leading up to this news announcement. So it's still unsure whether it's going to be a buy the rumor, sell the news event. We'll know about that in the next seven or so hours. But overall, seeing as this is a futures ETF, as we can see here, Bitcoin Magazine, I think this is just going to be one of many that are coming up and this is going to be possibly one of the lesser uh, pumpable Bitcoin ETFs. The big pumpable ETF that we are waiting for is the Grayscale ETF. And I think this will take some time to get here. So that also leans into how the cycle may progress in Bitcoin. We could possibly be here for another three months, six months, 12 months, we will see because the dates will, will line up eventually. Basically, once the filing is made, the SEC will have 75 days to review it. And so what happens is they will we'll review it. And if they don't give a response, then it's okay for them to launch it. And that's what we see happening with ProShares at the moment. So this is the ProShares Futures ETF. So the ETF will provide institutional investors and retail investors exposure to Bitcoin who couldn't legally or wouldn't hold the asset otherwise through a brokerage account. So they're not actually getting the real physical digital Bitcoin and being able to store it and hold it in their own wallet. So it's not the real Bitcoin, but they get exposure to the price. And essentially that is going to allow so much more money to come into the space. As Michael Saylor says here, when we have a Bitcoin ETF in the US, billions and billions of dollars will flow into Bitcoin that under no circumstances would have found their way into Bitcoin otherwise. So this is great news. I'm not trying to play it down. This is fantastic news to get billions and billions and billions of dollars into the Bitcoin space, into the cryptocurrency space to a degree, at least being exposed to the volatility and the price fluctuation of the underlying asset of, of Bitcoin, but they're not holding the physical thing. And so we are looking for the physical. So let me read this part here. The SEC will not announce the approval formally. So all that happens is they have the, uh, they put in their filing for the ETF. E SEC doesn't announce formally that it's approved, but they're able to then go and list it on the New York Stock Exchange. In this case, that's where they're, they're listing it here, New York Stock Exchange tomorrow, which is Tuesday evening. So that's what we'll be waiting for for Grayscale. That's what I'm waiting for. I think this is going to be the bigger announcement and it's potentially what we're going to see now is maybe a bit of a intermediate peak because things have gotten extremely heated. And so if I look at some of the biggest retail YouTube channels, so we can go across and say, look at Cryptos R Us, you know, 500,000, good friend George there, all talking about the calm before the storm. Everything's getting really, really bullish in these titles and talking about it within these videos. You know, nearly 600,000 on Journey here, biggest day in crypto history, actually urgent. I don't think it's actually urgent, but you know, neither does he. It's just a, a good title. You guys would know that by now. Bitcoin all time high tomorrow. We've heard that before many, many times. Uh, best 
chances, etc. You know, this is a portfolio, moon your portfolio. Um, we all do it. Titles are there. We're not having to go at that. But these are the biggest channels that are in the retail space along with Altcoin Daily, breaking Grayscale to file a Bitcoin ETF so we can see that coming as well. That's been super bullish. So I'm basically lining up the market sentiment and the market sentiment across the major retail YouTube channels, 1 million, 1.2 million, 600,000, uh, 500,000, that sort of thing. It's, it's going quite big. Then we look at Twitter, Twitter, Bitcoin. There's Everyone is posting about Bitcoin. It's the most popular thing at the moment. Let's click on Bitcoin and then we'll see just how bullish everyone is. Reasons why I'm bullish on Bitcoin, ETFs, uh, you know, it's from Dan Held. Lots of retweets, lots of likes. Look at this. We are the same as the previous cycles, 2011, 2013, 2017. It all happens like this. You know, this is what's going to happen. So it's a lot of extreme bullish sentiment. And maybe it's a short term high. Maybe just a short term. Maybe just a few days, maybe just a few hours, and then we take off again. So I don't think any of us any of us are here for a few percent gain. We're here for the hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin, two hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin, and maybe some of us really believe we'll get a three hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin in this cycle. It's yet to be seen, but essentially we've got the good news there. We got all of the bullish sentiment. The technical chart. We are at a previous all time high level, but we're not there yet, and maybe that'll come as the ETF is is rolled out onto the the exchanges. Uh, the next price targets, what's happening next? What do I think? Well, we've hit our exact 100% repeat, which is a good sign. So this is a, a GAN drawing tool. It is not an indicator. This is something that has to be learnt on how to uh, implement the drawing tool here. So this is the extension. So we've got 100% repeat of this first range out, which is really, really important. This range is going to come into play a lot more in this cycle. So you can see here, one 63,200, so a few hundred bucks off that. Now, my next target is at 69,000. Go ahead and make your jokes in the comments about that. 69,000, sounds fantastic. So that's at 125%. That's another bullish sign that we are extending the ranges so the price ranges are getting larger. And then my next targets up are on these FIB levels. So 150%, 1.5 is essentially 150% of this range. 75,000, 161%, 77,000. Then we get to a doubling, which is 86. But I think before we get to that 86, possibly, we'll get a at least a pullback to give us another range that we can then measure moving forward. Similar to moving averages. They're always moving. Things are always in movement. So we'll continue to come back and have a look at those. But for now, they're the targets until we see a pullback. This is just my view because of what I'm seeing with how fast this has gone up and how uh, quick of a time it has been. One, two, three, we're into our fourth week and we've gone up quite quickly. Uh, I'm seeing, like I said, a lot of bullish sentiment across uh, crypto YouTube and crypto Twitter. So that's getting into the, the greed space. Everyone's talking about all-time highs. I am also posting about that on crypto Twitter and I'm getting a, a lot of reaction to it, even looking at the Aussie dollar. No one ever looks at the Aussie dollar. And, uh, you know, that's getting a lot of traction. So I'm understanding that. Um, but I think longer term, we're waiting for this gray grayscale Bitcoin trust, grayscale's uh, ETF, that is. Grayscale ETF would be backed by actual units of the cryptocurrency. So this is the spot Bitcoin. That's what we are looking for. And this would make it the biggest ETF out there as they hold nearly or just over four billion dollars worth of um, bitcoin that's actually 40.6 billion not four billion so we got 40.6 billion 655,000 btc grayscale bitcoin trust and we know that they will file for an etf on this grayscale bitcoin trust now which gives them as we could see potentially 75 days from the point that they lodge. That might be tomorrow, that might be the next day. Basically, 75 days will take us into around the end of December. So if that happens to be when they're approved or it's not actually said that they're approved, but they're allowed to release, launch their Grayscale Bitcoin ETF, then maybe we'll see another top at that point. But this is all speculation. We've got to wait to see what's coming up in the market, of course. Uh, all of this can be found online and then we can keep track of it over here. Once the application is made, SEC will have 75 days. So that's the timeframes that I'm looking for for the next top. I know we still have to see a top at the moment. 
I think with all the bullish sentiment, could be completely wrong. You know, that's just the way it is. But I have to have a bit of a line in the sand as to what's going on. I see a lot of a uh, lot of strength at the moment, at least potentially short term. So maybe we'll hit that 65, maybe we'll hit the 66,000 just to give us that new all-time high and make all of us YouTubers look like gods again in a, in a Bitcoin bull market when anyone can really do it. The, the main part here is to try and retain as much of that profit as possible, especially when the market turns. It's so easy just to say buy, 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 but at the end of the day, you got to be able to retain that profit on the way down and make sure you've got your plan set up for that. So short term, just as a recap, at least all time highs, we'll get close to it. We're at 63 now. It's not much of a not much of a, of a real saying, is it? You know, it's it's pretty easy to, to call that. But my next targets are around that 69 level and then up around 75,000. So in those zones, that's what I'm looking for potentially a pullback from there. That's still a good sign because it's extending ranges. The the moves up before we get a correction are getting bigger. That's a good bullish sign. I like the buy the dip opportunity. And if we come back to these old all-time highs between 60 and 65, still looking not too bad. That's short term. Long term, I think we're waiting on those next ETFs. And we know there's probably another dozen or two dozen ETFs looking to be uh, launched in the US. And that might be the rolling effect that we'll see that extends the bull market later into 2022. Who knows? We'll wait and see. But it definitely feels like that's where the energy is building to and it's definitely picking up a lot of steam. Of course, it could end sooner and it could all happen at the end of this year. But of course, that's why we continue to follow the charts and the news and the market sentiment so that we can prepare for the battle coming up. No one knows when the war will end. You just have to prepare the best way possible. Make sure you've liked. We've got Patreon in the link down below, right at the top of that video description. I'll see you at the next one. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you then. Until then, have more fun to get more done.